Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well. Uh, this video is items I've picked up recently, mostly on behalf of my buddy Alex, um, who seems to be using me as some sort of um, UK distribution centre at the moment. But we all, we don't mind, do we Alex? So I'll show you some of the items I picked up recently and some of the items Alex uh, had me pick up on his behalf. Um, the first thing I picked up myself was this and it's broken unfortunately the casting has broke but this is a platina um, um adjustable spanner very very similar to a bulldog and um, this is what it should look like with the with that um sort of um um swing back adjuster which is missing that and i didn't realize when i bought it i met this seller um at um the runway at, at newark auto jumble next door um, and he had these two and alex wanted this one and i wanted this one so i bought that to go with the platina pipe wrench um there we go that's better but unfortunately it's a bit broken i didn't realize this one is really nice which alex picked up this is a browns oh we're gonna be on one of those ali um this is a browns brothers um, um, and I've never seen anything with this unusual pointy end. I'm not sure what that's for, but it's 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 fascinating nonetheless. Oh, we're on blurry vision, are we? Let me turn it off and turn it on. There we go. Sorry about the continuity. Um, this is a four inch similar version, and you can see the the size difference from four to fourteen. It's quite the difference. It's a monster. So Alex bought that and I thought, I think he paid about 15 or 20 pounds for it. I think it's good value. I think he probably scrap for, for 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 less than that. But yeah, bit of fun. So Alex, that's, look at this, you need to get one of these next, mate, to be a real man. Um, but yeah, so that's a bit of fun. The big old monster wrench. Um, and then Alex decided he wanted a puffin. He asked me to keep an eye out for one. Um, the puffin wrench made by Garrington. So this is his example. I'm not very good with the camera today. This is his example of the puffing. So Alex has picked up. I've got even got a few more in the post for Alex, which have not arrived yet. So um, we've got another Fritzol, and um, that's for sure. A nice, a nice example of a Fritzol coming as well. So he's got a yeah, he's got a parcel building, patina Fritzol. He's got quite a lot coming. All right, so um, I'll show you the, this one now. Right guys, um, I also forgot to show you, we bought this, Alex bought this number plate from Michigan, which is where Resto Rob used to reside until he's moved um, to Colorado. Um, but this is a number plate from Michigan. Um, the four star say, 76, no idea what any of that means. Um, but yeah, so um, really, really nice. Um, so this will go in Alex's pile as well. Um, but this is what I picked up, it's a bulldog number three a bulldog number three spanner now it's broken again and i didn't realize again it was broken i'm the least observant person you can imagine I don't, it's terrible i am um, but this is a number four which is a big boy and then obviously we've got a number two which is this one um a number one which is this one and a number zero i noticed the number four and the number zero I've got different markings, so I wonder if they were an afterthought. I'm not sure. Um, and I have no idea if that's a complete set. I first saw these on the wonderful John Fix's channel. Um, he, I think he did a wonderful restoration. These are dirty. I'll have to take the pain. I'll, one day I'm going to have to do a lot of cleaning and get all this muck off these and wax them all. But anyway, this is a set of five uh, Bulldog wrenches. Um, so I was quite pleased with that. So... Um, I also want to show you what else I've been buying recently, which is probably the best thing. And um, they need a clean as well, but I'll show you before a clean. So some of you may remember this, a Woolworth Master Stilson uh, display. Now, apparently this square Stilson is from, I think, 1908 to 1918. So this is pre 1920s, which is very rare, very early for a early display um, and it's 
quite nice. It's got nice writing on the sides. I don't know if you can see there. So I've quickly bought all the spanners. Alex sent me this one from the Netherlands and I bought this one off Roger. And these three I've bought off eBay uh, recently. These are the correct ones. This is metal, wood, metal, wood, wood. Um, and they're the correct sizes. They do need a clean though. Woolworth, and you can see the diamond pattern on the head, but they are dirty. So I'm gonna put some nice finish on the wooden handles, maybe um, some gun stock finish, and I'm gonna clean them up and, I th and then wax the actual display. I've um, been very busy recently, so I've not done any clean ups or anything. But yeah, you'll have to tell me what you think. I'm quite pleased with that display. Um, quite pleased indeed. Um, I've been messing around this afternoon. I'll show you something else. So some of you may remember the Paramo Vice stand Alex brought back from the Netherlands. And I've put temporarily my um, York Vices on it. <laughs> it fits quite well, don't you think? looks quite swell I mean it's not the correct vices and they do need to clean up these vices like most things do I own but yeah um the record uh, paramo vice stand fits really nicely the uh, record so yeah so I thought I'd show you that as well a bit of fun and um, to go with these two stands up here this is the uh, floor mounted version I don't yet have all the correct paramo vices I've only got a double zero and uh, which should go on the top should go on there all right thanks hopefully you've enjoyed this video uh, uh don't want to look forward to your comments take care bye bye